Well, the Fluid Update is live on Experimental, and it sure is packing. Stay tuned to hear my thoughts. First up, visual update on the refineries. Uh, the visual update on the refineries is really cool. I really like how on the side you could see the pump like pushing in and out and it, you can definitely see something's going on in the machine now. They are taking up less space now. The, the width has is, is been cut down a little bit. I'm really excited for that as well. Power has in fact changed uh, from, from being on where the inputs were to where now they're on the output side and I thought that that was kind of interesting. I'm really excited for the, the way that, that this new refinery is looking. Uh, I'm also really excited to see how it's going to fit next to other refineries now that it's taking up less space. You can even run a pipe in between, so it's going to be really cool to see some of the builds coming out. The next thing that we want to look at is the packager. The packager is this new machine. It does everything that refinery did in the past for packing gene and unpacking but this one does it way more efficiently. Now at 10 megawatts per, packaging and unpackaging seems like something, definitely something we consider, just e even, even in a regular standard game. In my five by five, it's a no brainer, but it's something I'm certainly looking forward to in, in your regular game. I'm, I'm excited to see what people come up with massive packaging and unpackaging networks. Two new ways to get canisters. There's a way to make canisters with steel uh, ingot and also copper sheet and iron plate. Not sure how I feel about using copper sheet and iron plate to make canisters because um, it's asking for assemblers, but I'm a big fan of oil-free recipes, so this one's got me pretty excited. The steel ingot one, on the other hand, nah, doesn't really interest me too much. I think I'm gonna be making canisters out of copper sheets and iron plates if I don't wanna go to the traditional route with plastic. Mach 2 pipes, amazing, right? 600 fluid per minute. Really excited for that. I love to see the mega builds. Now my thoughts on this are is that it requires Alcad sheets and plastic. Once you have Alcad sheets on farm, you're not gonna go back and replace all your pipes. So really how you would have to plan for the MK2 pipe would be to literally plan for the future and, and go back and upgrade all your MK1 pipes to MK2. And I can really see that as being really the only way of doing it. Uh, other than that, you've got this pipe that's for way end game builds and structures and things. So um, my only complaint there is that I hope they do some balancing on the pipe, maybe a different resource. I really don't, can't see any other way than, than using the sheets, but you know, I, 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 it's just kind of a bummer, guys. It's just kind of a bummer because there's by the time you got enough of those sheets on farm, you're already well past uh, the need for it. Uh, the Mark II pumps and valves. Now, let's talk about the pumps. Now, the Mark II pump requires 12 power to run, while the Mark I pump requires 4 power to run. Simply run 3 Mark I pumps for 10 more head lift as opposed to the Mark II pump which is the same power for 10 less head lift. Run three Mach 1 pumps for a total of 12 power with 60 head lift versus a single Mach 2 pump for 12 power with 50 head lift. The Mark 2 pump is power inefficient. The valves, the valves are really cool. This is a huge, really awesome part of the update that I really enjoy. The valves allow you to control how much gets sent to one pipe or another. Not only that, but they're directional. So if you've got some directional issues with some of your piping, the valves are there to really help you out with that. Before you have to, you used to have to have an unpowered pump, but now with the valves, it's totally unpowered. It's small, it looks great. Great job, Coffee Stain, amazing. The valves, keep stuff like that going. I love them. The jump pads, jump pads can be angled now. now uh, they couldn't be angled before, so they were pretty much impossible to use aside from just guessing where you would land. And now you can actually see where you land. There's a reticle that comes up that shows you exactly where you're gonna land. And my thoughts about the jump pads are is they still take power. Not only that, they take space. And to be quite frank, I have no idea how they're really supposed to be used aside from like memes and uh, parkour parks or something like that. I'm gonna stick with my traditional hyper tube here. Not really that much of a fan of the jump pad. Really cool changes, just won't be seeing them in my factory. The power lines, huge change, love this change. You can now drag a power line from the power pole right to the ceiling. It'll automatically make a power nipple. Yes, power nipple. Now we're gonna have sky nipples. They're gonna be amazing, guys. Go ahead and try them out, use them. They're gonna be awesome. 
I also love being able to drag from the walls and continue wall outlets as well. Big fan of that. Great job, Coffee Stain. Huge, huge change. I wanna see more like that in the future. Ladders, now, ladders are gonna change the exploration game, mainly because ladders can be placed on the open dirt. They don't need to be placed onto anything and they're cheap as dirt. One really cool thing about ladders is you can drag them up. It's got this drag function. I hope that maybe one day we might see this with foundation where we're able to drag the foundation across a, a, a plane. That would be really cool. Um, but right now we're, we're gonna see ladders with that functionality. And so uh, bring them out to the desert, bring them out exploring, check them out, put them in your factory. They're small. They don't take a lot to, uh, to make. And um, you could put them on walls, you could put them on foundations and you could put them out in the open. So another really great change. Well, to chalk it up, some of the things that I was most excited about in this update was the packager for my 5x5. The ladders are really cool for exploring. The power, uh, the power quality of life changes, absolutely huge. Um, I like the new pipes. I like the new pumps, but I just don't see them being used just yet. So what was your favorite uh, change in the fluids update? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much again for watching. And remember that I stream live on Twitch Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. MST. I hope to see everyone over in the live channel where you will see this and many other builds. Cheers. I'll see you guys next time right here in the Longhouse.